and so stiff up a lip and so like has heard of the word emotion but definitely doesn't know what it fits <laughs> um, and just like an example of how my dad would deal with any situations with his two daughters just so you get like an idea of what it used to be like um, so it was 1996 uh, I was eight um, and my dad had been working away all morning all afternoon to get us connected to the internet for the first time. Ooh. And then, I oh know, it was exciting. <laughs> uh, and then finally he calls down to us, he's like, girls, we're like, yes, daddy, yes. He's like, the internet. And he left. <laughs> <laughs> so me and my sister are like, okay, this is really exciting. So we clicked on the internet icon button and then clicked on the button that said connect and then watched the screen, some really odd sounds happen. <laughs> Do you remember the one sounds? Yeah. Can you give me an example? So it's like we're back there, that's great. <laughs> um, and then finally, we had connected to the World Wide Web, and I must have had uh, a geography project on at the time, because whatever the search engine we used was, I put in the farmyard, and then we pressed enter, and then the first website that came up was a website called barnyardbitches.com. <laughs> so obviously we clicked on it. Uh, and then me and my sister watched the screen as these photos loaded really slowly down the screen of women being penetrated by horses and cows and snakes. And it was then that I thought, this isn't a real farm. <laughs> and just at that point, my dad walks into the room, looks at the screen, Looks at his two daughters <laughs> and says, Girls, this is not why we got the internet. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Never told my mum, nothing else, no conversation. Um, so it was kind of, uh, it was surprising that two and a half years ago, me and my sister received a WhatsApp message. Um, we have a WhatsApp group called Daddy and His Daughters, and we got a message that read, uh, said, <clears throat> Girls, Thailand is great. I am on a tantric massage course. I have learned we store a lot of emotional trauma in our genitals. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, couple of days went by, neither of us responded. Me and, <laughs> and then I sent a message. And I said, Hi, Daddy. This sounds very interesting. Looking forward to hearing all about it when you get home. Love you. <laughs> and a week went by. No follow up, we didn't hear anything from him, not a dicky bird. And then we got another text. Girls, I'm lying awake in my hotel room in Bangkok and I'm thinking about the fact that my mother never told me she loved me and I fear I've done the same to you both. Love, Dad. <laughs> uh, the next morning I had breakfast with my sister and she was like, right, Runny, that's what she calls me, Runny. I don't know what's going on, but you need to meet Daddy as soon as he's home. And I want you to find out if he's healthy, if he's happy, if he's safe, and then I want you to report back to me with top lines only. I do not want the details. <laughs> She's an intense character. <laughs> um, but it's no surprise that my sister didn't want the details because she refers to sex as hanky panky. <laughs> and rumpy pumpy. Wow. <laughs> She's not doing it ironically. Um, I once got a, uh, a condom stuck inside me. And I told her about it, and she went, Ronnie, well, you're not doing it properly. What you've got to do is you've got to get the sheath, all right? You've got to get the sheath, and then you hold the teat at the tip of the penis. <laughs> then you roll. You roll it all the way down, <laughs> all the way down to the bottom of the shaft. And just to be safe, tuck the balls in as well. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but my sister is my big sister, right? And I've always, yeah. always wanted to make her proud because she's just my absolute hero. But I've always wanted to make her laugh as well, always. Um, and there was one particular time I thought I had a genius idea to make her laugh when I was seven years old. I got naked. <laughs> oh, it's really funny. It's really funny. Uh, and then I put my mum's tights on over my naked body. It's comedy gold. <laughs> she's sitting in the living room. I go down. Ta-da! Um, she didn't laugh. What she did do instead was just point and scream. Oh my god! What's wrong with your sway -wa? Um. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know. What colour tights was I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is a sway -wa? What the fuck is a sway -wa? Uh, 
Um, and that's a good question. So my dad, British, no emotions. My sister, just like me, just an intense version. Uh, but my mum is an Algerian woman. So I was brought up calling my vagina a sway book, because that's the Algerian word for it. Do you remember what you used to call your genitals as a child? Yeah, funny, I think. Funny, that's a classic. That's good. Yeah, different in America. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Do you remember what you used to call yours as a child? A fanny as well. Double up on the fannies. That was great. Love it. Um, okay, so we're, we're there. She's going, oh my god, what's wrong with your sway -wah? I'm now hysterically crying. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so I run upstairs to my mum's room. Mama, mama, my sway -wah. My mother is panicked at the least of times, honestly. She's like, what? What's wrong with your sway -wah? Why are you crying? Why are you wearing my tights? She throws me onto the bed, takes the tights off, has a look, and then bursts out laughing. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Someone pointing and screaming, and then another person bursting out laughing, and your genitals all in one day is quite a lot for your course. But why are you laughing? She's like, okay, now one, come here, come here. Hannah, my sister, who's now like crying her eyes out in her nightie in the corner like Carrie, she's like, come on, come on, girl. <laughs> so, girls, every swaywa is different but beautiful, okay? Hannah, swaywa, different but beautiful. Mama, swaywa, different but beautiful. Rawan, swaywa, different but beautiful. We all have swaywa, different but beautiful, okay? <laughs> For the next two weeks, I was still just like... <laughs> <laughs> so I think she got a point having got across. She was like, okay, you don't believe your mother? You want to have science? Come on, here you go. Doctor, tell her she has beautiful swing. <laughs> 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 the doctor's like, uh, okay, well, I, I, I don't know what a swinger is, but we'll certainly have a look at your fanny. Let's <laughs> okay, just pop you on there. <laughs> um, okay, Rowan, so I can see what happened. What's happened is that your labia is probably bigger than your sister's. But all that means is when you grow up, you'll just have better sex <laughs> I mean, I left that doctor's surgery with a load of guilt on my shoulder. Poor <laughs> sister. Um, but I was also, I wasn't just feeling guilty, I was also feeling pretty scared. Because I was worried that the way I'd been masturbating up until this point, was why my labia had gotten so big. <laughs> um, and I'm really hoping you'll mind when I'm saying that, that you're like, well, now thinking if I just unbutton my boy the seat, that they just flop out. <laughs> um, but it, it was all, uh, do I have time to tell you about masturbating? I don't, do I? Do I? I'll just 